What's up guys, Vince the Longineer here. I just got back from vacation. I was away for the whole week. Uh, the lawn is overgrown right now. It's probably at about, I don't know, five or six inches. Uh, it's also wet uh, and it's humid right now. And we've got some storms rolling in. So I wanna show you how to cut a wet lawn. So stay tuned. <laughs> So for starters, you want to set the mowing height on your mower to the highest setting possible. Another thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you're going to be bagging. So make sure your bagger's on, make sure everything's all cleaned out in here. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to be removing the striping kit I have because we don't want to fold the grass blades over while it's wet. Also want to make sure that your blades are super sharp. Let's just do a quick check here. Just undo spark plug. And these are really sharp. I probably sharpened them like last week. Put this guy back on. And uh, we're ready to get mowing. So I know it looks pretty sunny right now, but we're expecting to get rain in about an hour and I don't think this is going to dry up in time, so I'm going to have to mow it. I don't think I can go another day without mowing it. But the very first thing I'm going to do is a trim pass. Actually, I'm probably going to do two or three trim passes because I want to keep the mower on the inside of the lawn and I don't want it to come out onto the sidewalk. When the mower wheels hit the sidewalk when the lawn is wet, it can uh, leave tire tracks, you know, stain the concrete green. So I want to avoid that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is doing the trim pass first and then filling in the middle, keeping the mower inside the lawn. trim pass here and uh, what I want to show you next on this small area is that I want to mow as I'm mowing I want to mow half the width of the grass for each pass so I'll you can see where you know this is the cut grass here this is the uncut grass so I've got my mower positioned halfway and I'm going to be doing that to avoid clumping um, and that's also why we have the mower set to the highest setting. All this is an effort to keep, get the cleanest cut possible and avoid clumping. This area looks like after it's cut now I do plan on dethatching soon so for now I'm cutting it on the highest setting just to get it cut um, because it's been so long but I do anticipate um, lowering the height of cut probably starting this week I'll probably cut it again in another two or three days lower it a half an inch cut again in another two or three days lower it a half inch 
and then I'll do the dethatching when I'm down to about, I don't know, an inch and a half or two inches. <laughs> So have you guys seen that Geico commercial where the guy comes around on his last pass for the perfect mow and the last grass strip is like the perfect width of the mower? I feel like I've got that situation going on here so I'm going to have to take advantage of it. So there you have it. Um, just finished mowing. I did not blow. I actually didn't go onto the sidewalk at all. So as you can see behind me, there are no grass clippings on the sidewalk. Um, I also bagged, which helped. Uh, you can see in the lawn that there are no clumps. The yard's pretty clean. I only took off maybe about an inch of what was on top and just that overlapping with the mower prevents that clump clumping from happening. Uh, so there you have it. Hey, real quick update you over here. <laughs> real quick update right here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, got a problem in the yard here. This, this is starting to pull up like carpet, as you can see there. Um, I really don't think it's grubs, but uh, I am gonna be doing this overseeding, dethatching. That should fix this area up pretty nicely. I think this is just, uh, this succumbed to the fungus. Uh, Overwatering, I think, was also part of the, uh, the issue. But just sharing a quick update with you on that. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.